All right, in this section, we go in this video, we go over section 8.2 law of sines. Well, so in the previous video, we saw we look well, we solved right triangles and we did the relationship of the trigonometric functions to the sides of a right triangle. But that uh, we had over there, we had a limitation with uh, solving only right triangles. But what if we had oblique triangles, like uh, you know, like in, in cases in which all of the angles are acute or two angles are acute and the other one is obtuse. Well, in this case, we are going to, this is gonna lead us to consider the law of sines and later on the law of cosines. All right, so there's four cases to, to, to consider. Well, number one, uh, one side and two angles are known. So these are the cases called ASA, angle, side, angle, or side, angle, angle. Case two, two sides and an angle opposite to one of them are known. That is known as the side, side, angle. And in this case, cases one and two are low of signs. All right. And then we have cases three and four. Cases three and case three, which is gonna be two sides and the included angle are known. Okay, in this case, this is known as the side angle side. And in this case, the three sides are known. So in this case, that's a SSS, side, side, side. And for these two cases, we use the law of cosines. Below are the pictures of each case, you know, case one, we are given two angles and one side, or one side and two angles, you know. Case two, side, side, angle, that it's in this case opposite to one of them, side, side, angle. And then case three, SAS, so we're given side side and the included angle and the angle that includes these two sides and of course the last case case four which is all sides we're going to learn how to deal with every single one in this couple of videos love signs and the next one this which is going to be the love call so in this section we focus on cases one and two as I mentioned before for the law of signs well, the formula is right here well it's a formula with like three sides of, of the equation but because but, but really, in this case, this gives rise to three formulas when we combine A with B, A with C, and B with C. So really, these are three formulas. And well, we can just go ahead and uh, solve the examples, but it would be a good idea to explain where is this law of signs coming from in uh, using, you know, um, using right triangle so I'm, I'm gonna prove this formula well I'm not gonna prove the actually the three sides of the formula I'm just gonna prove sine A over A sine B over B so we have this picture right here well this is um let me just make a remark over here so this is our triangle that we're working on and the dashed line it's a uh, it's a well this is a dashed line that that cut this into two triangles. Actually, let me shade with two different colors. All right, let me, just so we don't get confused when we, when we set the two, you know, the two triangles. All right, so given this big triangle is not a right triangle, but if we cut it like this, we are gonna have a, we're gonna have one right triangle here to the right and another right triangle here to the left. All right, let's prove that formula well. Let's consider the, the, the right triangle to, to the right first. And I'm gonna use, of course, because we are, we are to, to prove the slow of signs that's going to be sine of the angle, sine of the angle B, all right? The first, well, let me actually cover the first triangle, okay? 
the first triangle it's this one and involves the angle B okay sine of B equals opposite over hypotenuse what's the opposite so that's why it was important to look at the previous video to look at the uh, different trigonometric functions of right triangles well that's opposite which is the height the the height h and the, the hypotenuse which is a all right that's all we have to do no more no less all right on the other hand well i'm going to cover the, the triangle to to the right and i'm going to use as a reference angle the angle a and in this case well the sine of this angle is the opposite which is also this height h right here over the hypotenuse b all right so let me write that down sine of a which is the letter h which is the opposite side over the hypotenuse which is b so i'm going to solve for h on both equations right here that is i'm going to have h equals to um a sine big b and h equals to b sine big a now well what do we have here well h equals something h equals something is these two h's are the same well that means these two expressions can be placed together all right so a sine b equals to b sine of a all right so all we have to do is just divide both sides by uh, in this case well let me see which which format do i have all right yes i'm going to divide both sides by by a b divide by a b on the one hand to cancel this a and to cancel these b's so what are we going to have sine b sine big b over little b equals to sine a over little a and that's what we wanted to show well in this case i got it you know on the reverse order i didn't get i didn't get a equals b but a equals b b equals a it's the same you know there's no difference and that's where this law of science is coming from. Okay, let's do a couple of examples. Let's solve the triangle A, 40 degrees, B, 60 degrees, and side A, four units. Well, first of all, let's make a list of A, B, and C. Angle A, angle B, angle B, C. So we're given the angles. 40 degrees, 60 degrees, and well, these have to add up to 80 degrees, you know, if we recall from the previous section. Well, 40 plus 60, that's 100. How many more degrees do we need to reach 180? Well, this has to be 80 degrees. And if you look at all the angles, they are all acute angles. So our triangle is gonna look something like this, you know? So that's uh, big A, big B, big C. Little C, little A, little B. All right. So, well, uh, we are given one of the sides. So that's uh, four. And, well, we need to find the other two sides. And in this case, we're going to use the law of signs to find the, the missing side. So, for example, what I'm going to do... I'm going to group these two, A and B, and do sine A over little a equals sine B over little b. All right, that's why I'm using this color because I'm I'm looking at this uh, this one right here. All right, so uh, let's see what can we what can we do about this one well let's see so 
sine A. So that's a sine A, which is sine of 40 degrees. Be careful, by the way, when you do the calculations, we are working with degrees over 4 equals to sine B, which is sine of, um, what's this called? Sine of 60 degrees. Okay, and then divide by B, which we don't know. I'm going to cross multiply this equation B sine 40 degrees for sine 60 degrees. And then I'm going to divide both sides by sine 40 to get B by itself. So B will be then, um, let's see, that's um, 4 sine. 60 degrees divided by sine of 40 degrees. All right. And if you use the graphing calculator, again, be sure that this is in uh, in degrees. 4, I'm going to type 4 sine 60 divide, be sure to close parentheses after the 60. Yes. And divide by sine of 40 degrees. Okay. So we get 5.38. Well, we round up to roughly two decimal places, 5.39. All right. So that's going to be over here, 5.39. Okay, how do we find C? Well, we have A and B, but in this case, because this is not a right triangle, we cannot use Pythagorean theorem. So in this case, we have to use this law of signs again. And in this case, I'm going to combine A with C together. All right. We could have done B and C together, but I'm going to do AC because that's uh, that's what I have on my notes. All right. So, and I'm going to use pink just so you can relate sine of A over little a equals sine of big C over little c. So, in this case, sine of 40 degrees over A, which is 4. Sine equals to sine of C, which is 80 degrees, divided by little c, which is the one that we want to know. So I'm going to multiply both sides by, by C and then divide by sine of 40 to get C equals to sine of 4 sine 80 degrees over sine 40 degrees. So let's Let's do this in the graphing calculator. So, 4 sine of, okay, let's just, let me just enter it again. That's uh, 80 degrees and 40 degrees. So, all we do is 6.128, so 6.13, approximately 6.13. And that's final answer for the first example, 6.13. So, we have the three sides, the three angles. All right, let's do let's do another example. Uh, we have uh, actually what was it? This was side angle angle. Now this one right here was side angle angle. Now what do we have for letter B? For letter B we have uh, is that another side angle angle? Well, that's uh, well that's angle side angle. Yes, yeah, so that's the opposite in which the side is the opposite to the two given angles, all right? So, as you do, we do the usual, let's make a list, little a, little b, and little c. Big A, big B, big C. So, I'm not going to draw a triangle because I don't know how is it going to look. Well, notice I, I first figured out the angles so I can look at the picture for for the triangle. So in this case, we're given two angles, 35, 15, actually degrees, don't forget the symbol. Well, this had to add up to 180 degrees. 
Well, so 180 minus 15 minus 35, what is that going to be? 180 minus, oh, 180 minus 15 minus 35. 130. Notice in this case we have an obtuse angle, 130 degrees. All right, so I'm going to draw an obtuse, something like this, in which big C is the angle C, and in this case, little big A is going to be this one, and big B is going to be that one. That means little b, little a, and little c. All right, so let's find out what uh, what the sides are. Well, we're given C this time, so we need to put together, uh, in this case, A and C to find side A, and B and C to find the side B. I'm going to do the first one first. I'm going to do I'm going to do B and C to find B. So sine sine b over little b equals to sine big c over lowercase c okay it should start saying little well it's uppercase lowercase so sine of b of uppercase b that's sine 15 degrees over lowercase b which we don't know equals sine of angle C which is 130 degrees. Divide that by C which is 5. And let's cross multiply this equation to get a to get in this case to get B equals to 5 sine 15 degrees over sine of 130 degrees. If we use the graphing calculator, we should get roughly a hundred, I mean, uh, 1.69. Let's, uh, let's verify that using the calculator. Okay, let's, uh, slope sign, so that's, uh, that's a 5 this time, that's a 15 this time, and that's a 130, yeah, 1.69, all right? So, 1.69. Now let's look at letter A. Uh, so in this case, I'm going to put together C with A together. I'm going to put these two together. And in this case, what I'm going to do is uh, sine angle A over side A equals sine angle C over side C. So let's put the numbers. So sine of A, which is 35 over sine A, divide that by sine of C, which is sine of 130 degrees over the length of the side C, which is 5. And I'm going to cross multiply this equation to get, I'm going to put it here, A equals, in this case, 5 sine 35 degrees and divided by, okay this is a 5, yes, divide by sine 130 degrees and this is, this has to be roughly according to my notes 3.74 so let's do it in the calculator real quick uh, so that's uh, only thing I need to change is this 1 with a 3 35, 3.74 and that's how we solve another triangle three points another another triangle given two angles and the side that is between it's between the two of them